Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Continuing the wedding themed series. I've shown you how to make bouquets. I've shown you how to take the bouquets and turn them into possible table flowers and ideas. Now I want to show you how to make floral crowns or garlands. You know what? It, I've been making these for years and I used to wire everything and it was such a big job because you've got to keep them light because it's going to be worn on the head and they need to be easy so that they can be worn all day and I could just about slap myself for not thinking about this sooner. So let me just show you, get rid of that, that's been annoying me. <sighs> look at this, look, 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 look. Oh, it's just so cute. In fact, I'm thinking I might just have to, you know, get into wearing these because they're so beautiful and they're so easy. Oh no, I just tied that up. I should have a mirror here, but I don't, so we just have to bear with me. Oh, I just love it. Our little girl would just be blessed to be wearing this all day. Even the bride, you could do one white. Let me show you how easy it is. Now, you need just a few, th you've got to just gather a few things. You need two pieces of 22 gauge wire. I'm using the 22 gauge floral wire because it's, I, as I was developing these and designing it, I found that that was the best to work with. If you use anything higher than that, it just becomes a little bit too heavy. And trust me, you've got to wear this all day. So you might as well just make sure that it's as light as possible. You also need some of this stuff here. This is called parafilm, which is, and it comes in two types of colors. This is the paper one, which I prefer and it comes in white, green and brown. You can also get white, green and brown. You can also get a plastic one. I don't, have I got a plastic one here? I don't actually like the plastic one. I feel that this works best. So a little, the other little tip is, if you're making one for somebody who's got brown or dark hair, use the brown. If it's for somebody who is blonde or fair, use either the green or the white. But you knew that anyway, I didn't need to tell you that. Then you need a whole heap of little flowers and you need some leaves. So these are all of my permanent botanicals that I've been a bit rough with and I just thought, well, look, these will be perfect. I can cut those up. But whatever your bouquet is, you could use some of the little flowers or even the bigger ones, depends on what you want to do. And as your focus. You're also going to need a couple of strips of ribbon. If your frock or your, or your base theme is whites and creams or champagne, make sure that the ribbon is going to connect in back through to your frocks. Two big, and oh, I can't wait to show you this, I'm very excited. In fact, I think I might just take up wearing these again. Okay, getting rid of that, getting rid of that. Okay, you also need the hot glue pan or you need the hot glue gun. And I have a little tip that I want to share with you. Sometimes the glue goes all over the place. So might I suggest that before you begin, you just get your glue pan and you put that on top of, oops, it fell over. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can't do that because it fell over there and I'm not stopping to restart. So I will just use this pan here. Now is that okay for you? Can you see what I'm going to be doing? To begin, let's start. You need to get your parafilm or your um, plastic wrap or whatever you're using and you need to, now when you're applying this it's just a matter of stretch, hold it in one hand and twist and with the other hand just stretch and twist and wind that down. Now you're probably thinking, why are you doing that, Esther? You don't need to do it because it won't rust. Well, what we want is to cover those wires and that extra little piece of tape that you put on there cleans it up nicely. So that it means that when we glue the other forms onto it, it glues beautifully. The next thing to do is to go down about two inches and squeeze that one together, squeeze that together, and then do exactly the same on your other bit, so that you've got two the same. Then, bringing those two together, 
like so, and then do a wee check, is that going to be big enough or is that going to be too small? Because you can make the shorter or longer now, but that should be enough for me now. So where I've turned that over, I'm just going to get my tape and I'm going to, we need that little loop, and then take that tape and wind that around there. Do you know, I've got to say this again, I could slap myself that I didn't ever think about this before because this method is so much quicker. Now you can use fresh flowers or you can use the even more flowers, but when you're using fresh flowers, you're going to have to take them. And I think I've got some uh, couple of series on how to tape flowers and protect them, the stem, so that they stay uh, forever, ever. Okay, so once you've got that there, that is your base in which we can now start the next process. Once you've taped them together, it's a matter of getting some little leaves and you'll need about five or maybe six leaves. It just depends. Now, lay your wire down like so and then go to your glue pan and we want... Oh, see those bits there? Your leaves have those little bits. See those little bits there, those little support bits that you get on the on the forever more leaves? Take those off because that's that means that what we're doing is we're getting rid of a bit more of the bulk, which we do not want. It's going to be like a crown and we don't want the crown to be too heavy. It's not like we're the Queen at Buckingham Palace with 10 ton on our head. I don't know how she wears it, but she spent a lifetime perfecting the skill. The next thing to do is to go to your glue pan or your glue gun and it's just a matter of, oh tip from me, use parchment paper or baking paper to do your gluing because it won't stick to it and we can get it off. So it's just a matter of, as you go, just do one end and then go to the other end and then place that on there so that you've got equal distance there and equal distance there. And you keep going, glue, 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 one on top of the other until you achieve this look here with the magic of television. I don't have to stop, start and waste time going through this. So all of those leaves are glued onto the top of that wire. Now the underneath side is looking at you, the bottom or the top layer is underneath. That's going to go against the head and that makes it nice and neat. If you don't have any of these leaves, you could perhaps cut them out of fabric and then glue those along, as long as you've got that lovely support structure at the back. Right, getting rid of that, let us start. It's now just a matter of working out what you want to incorporate into your little garland and I've got little bits of ivy here which not ivy of lavender which I'm just going to glue to the underneath surface of those leaves or what is my as I said what is going to be my uh, support structure get your little leaves now when you pull your leaves off they're going to have little hunky thick bits at the end like that cut those off because that's going to be another way of removing any excess weight and uh, well, unnecessary weight actually, and it might not look like it's very much, but by the time you get this done, you don't want to have too much. So that just gets dipped into there, and you just continue what you do on this side, do on that side, until you have completely covered your leaf with whatever you wanted to use. You might even, you might even want to use just a little bit of lavender or some lilac, whatever it is. So just keep going, and then, hold on, let me just get rid of that until you have reached this point here. So there's your nice neat side and there is your top side. Now I have, see what I've done here? I have made a mistake because I have glued it to the wrong side. So once I've finished this, I'm going to have to glue some leaves that I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. Okay, so that's done. And then it's just a matter of selecting the other flowers that you want to use, dipping those 
how did I do that? I could slap myself sometimes that I just get that excited I forget. So these can all just be stuck onto there and then if you want to add some other little flowers just get in here with your scissors and cut these little bits off. Seems terrible to be wasting this but never mind. Sometimes when you want something you just want it. And then that, just getting that into there, might as well finish this while I'm going, and then that can just be stuck down and into there. And just, this will just all stick to itself. Look at that, oh, look at that, how beautiful that's starting to be. And I'm thinking I might want a nice red rose. Keep your focal flowers to the middle. So these are the biggest flowers. So just get into there and just pop that into there. And I thought I had a bud. Oh, I do have a bud. Get that little bud there and take that bit off there. Now that bit of wire there, what I suggest you do is bend that down so that that goes against the base of the flower so that that wire isn't sticking out because don't forget it's worn on the head and we don't want to be having any little pricks of something sharp into our scalp. Just put that onto there. That can go in and over to there like so. And you just keep working until you have achieved what you want to achieve. Now with the, haha, this here with your ribbon. And make sure, as I said, I just have to reiterate that the fabric is going to connect in with the colorways of your bridal party. This here just gets stuck through there like so and just bring it through and then you can trim these, make sure it's sort of as, as into the, oh the glue gun's all over me, until it's about the same, the length that you desire and you could do these white, you could do these colours, you could use fresh, but and there's a whole tutorial on how to achieve fresh. Now once you've done it, you need to step back and leave it until it's absolutely set, which will take maybe, I don't know, that long, maybe a couple of minutes. Leave it until it's dry, and then that's just a matter of putting that on the head and then tying it around as you saw when I began. Isn't that such an easy way of achieving a nice floral crown for you or your bridesmaids or your flower girls to be wearing. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing it with you. Next time I see you, I'll show you how to do the wristlets because they are equally beautiful. That's it from me for now. See you again another day. Bye.